Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor, Barstool Entertainment, doing another legendary animal hunting video. This is the legendary Bighorn Ram. And as I recall, it was a little difficult because it's near Valentine and the activity tends to make it hard for you to actually trigger the legendary ram hunt. Also, there is a wolf and a bear nearby that tend to interfere with things. So taking them out and getting things reset so that you can hunt the legendary ram and get that one other creature is indeed something that you have to kind of try and try again. So let's get on with the legendary ram. If I recall right, I shot the bear and wolf in the territory, skinned them, left and camped, and came back to trigger the legendary animal territory uh, thing in the upper right in order to start hunting the legendary ram. Now I triggered Arthur Morgan's hunting sense. I started looking around, looking around, and then I triggered it again. I'm looking around, and i not seeing any tracks. I'm kind of running around. It's just one of those things where it was kind of difficult. And then I look around, and it's behind. I can see that right there is the start of tracking for the legendary ram. After the first clue, I see where the legendary ram went off in which direction, and you see the corpses of the wolf and the bear, where that is usually what is causing the problem with the legendary ram hunt is you have two large predators, and the ram doesn't want to um, appear. So like I said, I cleared those two out, before and then came back. Now I follow the tracks of the legendary ram and or actually misfollow them and there is the third uh, sign here. Must be close. Now I'm remembering, this was a little more difficult than I thought because the tracks lead into the water, and if you cross the water, you tend to lose sight of the tracks. It's kind of confusing. I mean, not only did the large predators, the wolf and the bear, kind of scare off the legendary ram, which I said I cleared out before, then camped, and came back. And that is what kind of allowed me to trigger and find the legendary bighorn ram. Now, you scout the area out, and you can't really, I mean, you go back into the water, and again, you're looking around, you, ah, there might be something, yeah, the, goes, it goes into the water, so it has to be in this area in general, so it's got a, it's a form of you gotta kind of look around and walk around. And I don't see the ram anywhere. So again, everything leads toward going into the water and the other side. There it is. There's the legendary ram. Just viewing this footage, I realized, yeah, it was a little more difficult than I had anticipated. 
after skinning and taking the horns, you'll have the legendary bighorn ram. And I don't know if there is a trinket that can be made. Not nah, you would usually be informed. But this was a little more difficult than I had anticipated. Again, if you're trying to trigger the ram and it keeps seeing too much activity, look for a bear and a wolf and kill them first. Then leave the area, camp, and come back. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this information informative and you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week. Yep, there you can see the bear and the wolf corpse. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week. And you want to hit the subscribe button and bell icon in order to stay informed. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by. Feel free to subscribe, it helps the channel out. And I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, finishing the legendary Bighorn Ram video. Mm -hmm.